I can't seem to give up on this microphone, but um. Anyway, <coughs> hi, my name is Tosh Sean Lamar Daniels, and I have something to say. Uh, so I've been, you know, browsing around YouTube, and you know, I saw a couple of videos talking about this whole uh, AI situation, and you know, it's still prevalent. You know, it comes and goes in waves about you know, topic the conversation. And I keep hearing the whole artist now should get ahead of it, you know, you know, change, you know, adapt. And I just like have one question. What the fuck do you mean? It seems pretty straightforward. Get behind a keyboard and type in what you want and AI will give you what you want. Give me a girlfriend. useless now in my last video i parodied a google video that featured donald glover now it wasn't me talking shit or trying to take down donald and his team you know gilga uh, you know it's funny funny enough i actually applied for that you know to be a part of and i didn't you know i'm not mad i didn't i didn't you know i didn't get it but you know i'm Anyway, uh, but with all seriousness, um, I was questioning the future of, you know, me creating content and being an animator and I just came across this video and I, I, you know, it bothered me. It, um, it struck a chord. A minor. Okay. In the original video, Google was promoting a new program they was working on. And what bothered me about it is when Donald said, Everybody's gonna become a director and everybody should be a director. I admire Donald Glover. Donald Glover is the only celebrity that I can for sure tell you that I might get starstruck for. But with that being stated, he's not above being critiqued. And I highly disagree of what he said. And the reason being why I can't get behind what he said is because I have the same philosophy as Syndrome from The Incredibles. And when everyone's super, <laughs> no one will be. If everyone can become a director, creative, an artist, it's just going to saturate the market. And I'm not for gatekeeping creativity and being an artist, it's just, I have a standard and I think we should all have a standard of good art because if we don't, it's going to invite the wrong type of people and bad business practices. Like for example, this video. Now, once again, I am not trying to talk down or talk shit about this particular creator. I am just here. That fuck him up. <sighs> but no, seriously, the content creator did a fantastic job with the premise of the video. It's you help out a small business, giving them logos and free advertisement, and you create a good video. But the execution, I don't agree with, unfortunately. So basically, he used AI to create their logos, and in my opinion, it, they they sucked. But did they like it? Yeah. From what they stated in the video, they liked it. And is that good? Are you good? I, I, let me get you up. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you good? You good? Focus. All right, cool, man. You took it, you took it on the chin, man. <laughs> Where you go, champ? <laughs> uh. Anyway, is people liking AI art good? Is selling AI art good business? In my opinion, AI art is like fast food. You can pay for a chef to cook you something better, but it's much cheaper and quicker to pay for fast food. Which is understandable because I don't expect the majority of average people to know what makes art good. 
For, for this is a great example, the Lego movie. An example of the kind of effort Animal Logic were willing to go to to make everything in the movie look as realistic as possible. At one point, they were debating putting actual serial numbers on every piece of Lego seen in the movie. Fortunately for the people who had to render the movie, they decided against this when they realised that even pedantic assholes like us wouldn't notice something like that. Meaning, artists will do something that most people won't even notice, but they'll like it anyway. Why? Some will know, but most won't. So, what's the solution? <sighs> That's a good question. <sighs> The answer, uh, there is none. <laughs> People are going to like what they like because liking art is subjective, which that's not gonna change and I would never want it to change. In conclusion, AI programs are tools meant to be used, but not a replacement. And I just hope that you as an audience member, a consumer, will know the difference between authentic and artificial art and support the artist or creator or whatever, whatever in like in whatever field that you like you like. Support the ones that that would give you the best quality, whether it's AI or man-made, you know? If it makes you happy, it makes you happy. Cool. If you like it, you like it. Cool. Me, myself, and I, I will always strive to put forth, you know, effort into my content, into my products, if I one day sell products. And I will always stand by people who have the skill set to make those products, to make that quality content, you know? So, uh, yeah, if you want to support me and my vision and my plans for the future, like, comment, subscribe, please and thank you. And uh yeah, that's 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 my opinion. What's yours? Thank you for watching. Um have a good one. Peace.